it's Nina, Warthog Princess. I have another small Vera Bradley haul for you today. On this one, there are a few items that I thought it was worth bringing out ones that I already had, um, sort of a different model of the same style to compare. So I'll let you know when those come up. The first item I got on this order is the clipboard in mint flowers. And this is a beautiful pattern. I do not like light backgrounds on most of my bags that I'm using. I just think they get dirty, zero, they just look, anyway, I love to look at them. So I thought this was a way to incorporate a nice, beautiful piece of the mint flowers into my daily life, but not have to worry about it being on a bag. Um, also mint green is not my number one favorite. I think it's beautiful. It's just not me at all, like at all. Um, but I thought the little adorable little snails in the pattern, and I just think that the, the style and colors, anyway, I like it a lot, but this is my first piece of it. So, the clipboard itself, sorry, I keep getting the glare on the plastic. This is a sticker, so that comes off. I don't need it to say through a brownie on it. And there's a sticker on the back, which I will also take off. It says, clipboard, mint flowers. Retail price is 14. I did use a coupon, so I got a deal on it. Uh, anyway, I'm going to take this sticker off later, now that I've, anyway, now I have to take it off now, because it's going to leave little bits behind. Ugh. I don't like stickers right on the thing like that, so don't put them on there. I'm not going to leave it on there, that's dumb. It's a price tag, I don't want a price tag on the back of my clipboard. Okay, sorry about that, got that off, clear, clean, alright, so... This clipboard, I like it a lot because it's robust construction. It's, I think it's gonna last like forever. It's plastic, it's a hard plastic, but it has a little bit of flex to it. I really like it. Um, I think I would have rounded the corners just a teeny bit more, but they're not like unsafe or pokey, but. All right, the clip is metal, I like that. It is solid, it goes all the way through. It comes with a little loop on there already, so if you like hang it on the wall, it's already set up for that. It's great, actually, and I like that it's a low-profile clip, not the old-school clipboards that had the big thing that stuck out like this. You couldn't stack them at all, ever. Um, this works really nicely for that, so I think it's good. Nice, um, strong, strong um, springs to the clip, everything. Now, pattern placement. This is a nice size piece, so it gives you a pretty good look at all the nice parts of the pattern. And also, same on the back. It is exactly the same, actually, um, on both sides, and also exactly the same as the picture online. So this is one of those pieces where you get what you saw. It's, it's not going to be different. So that's a good thing, and hopefully it's enough of a snapshot of the pattern for you to make you happy. It made me happy. Anyway, so I really like that. But I don't know what I was thinking the day that I ordered it. I mean, I know I was thinking what I said about the mint flowers and, and clipboards. I don't use clipboards though, so why I ordered this? I'm, in my mind now, looking back, I think I might have thought I was ordering a clipboard folio because these I know I like and I have several of them. But anyway, I am glad I got it and I am glad it is exactly what it is because I like it a lot. Um, but this is what I also like. So I did not get, this is not new, I already had this. This is the Kaleidoscope Rosettes Clipboard Folio. I like these a lot. It's the same clip on top, which actually is really nice. Um, same size, everything's great. So actually side by side, you can see that they're almost identical height. The clipboard is ever so slightly taller. You probably can't see it from there, but if I tilt a little bit, you can see it's not even a quarter of an inch, maybe an eighth of an inch. Um, but the same width, same, Slightly wider on the clipboard folio. Anyway, the clipboard folio, what I like about this, um, I like that it's a folder style. So if I have some loose papers, I can put them in or I can put them in this folder. Um, if you can get into it, anyway. From there, I like that it has a removable or you can replace the pad and keep using the folio. I like it has this little elastic for your pen. So if you're running off to a meeting or an appointment and you just throw a few loose leaf things in, you have notes, you have that, bam, all in one place. I like that a lot, a lot. I have several of them, not even Vera too. One thing I would change is on this, I would have the holes poked because I like to you know, take my notes and then put them in a binder. I'm very organized. Um, so I like to have the holes already in it. No reason that can't be, uh, not a huge deal. Other thing I would change is 
Make it not be cardboard. This is not going to last. I mean, even if I'm good to it, which I will, you know, I'm not going to school, I'm not banging it around all the time, but I use them. And so, you know, you flip it over, so it's nice, like, knee, so lap desk, if you will, you can do a lot of different things. But then it's gonna, it's gonna wear out if I keep doing that. So I would rather see it made out of the plastic, like the old binders, which you'll see in a minute because I got that too. So speaking of which, the next item I got is the binder in um, Moonlight Garden. It's Moonlight Garden. It's a slightly different coloration. I don't know why they're doing that either because the clipboard, I think it was, was like a blue and white variation. And then this is like a turquoise background with the same beautiful pattern. And it was, I think this is lovely. And I really like that it's that stark blue inside. Um, I think it's a beautiful contrast. I would still like to see the, the main pattern in the same thing. So you have both, that'd be great coordinating options. I could have a whole set of binders just with Moonlight Garden variations. That'd be fun. Anyway, I just love the blues and teals. So this pattern is a hit end to end with me, but binders are great size, all of that. I just don't like that it's cardboard. I think it's cheap. I don't, I don't mean like money. I think the price I paid for it was relatively fair, but it's not gonna last. This is paper, like, yeah, we'll see. I don't know. I'll give it a try. But for comparison, here's the older style. So this one is Butterfly Flutter. It's a plastic. It's one of those flex binders. This I love. This is right up my alley. This is exactly what I would want. And I knew I was ordering the cardboard version, but I'm kind of sad that it is because the outlet has cardboard versions. So if you like the cardboard versions and you get great prices at the outlet, Go with it, but the, the retail side always had a different one, and now I'm sad that they've gone away from it. So please bring back my flex binders, because I'll keep buying them. All right, so comparison. It's the same basic style. This binder is, let's see, about the same width. This, um, the cardboard one may be slightly wider. It is slightly shorter and slightly wider this way, again, why the variations? Which one of these is the standard size and why did we change to the other? Like, they should all be the same. I don't know why you would change that. The paper that goes inside is the same size. So why are the binders not? I just, it's a detail thing. I don't like well, changes for no reasons. Um, all right, this binder I like, again, it's the plastic, it's robust. It comes or came with the plastic dividers, which are also beautifully colored. They're robust plastic and they have the cutesy you know, designs on them. It did not come with this little pencil pouch. This is Vera and it is Butterfly Flutter, but it came as the planner bonus, bonus planner pack, something, whatever. Anyway, it had a pen, the little magnet page markers and some indexing stickers, something. It was a very simple kit, but anyways, it was butterflies. It made sense. I put it in with my butterfly binder. Obviously, I'm not using this at the time, but I have some other ones that I am. So, I love the new binder. I love the colors of it. I love the concept of it. I don't like the construction of it. I love the old ones. Nothing I don't like about them, except that there's not more of them. So, all right. Other comparison. So, this purchase, I bought the Firefly Garden Lighten Up Lanyard. <coughs> Excuse me. And I got the Moonlight Garden Zip ID. So, why did I get the Lighten Up with Moonlight Garden? A couple of reasons. One, I have lots and lots of cotton lanyards, and I have only a few of the Lighten Up. Happen to love this pattern. I just thought this might last a little longer, um, being that it's not cotton. And just to kind of mix up the collection. Also, these two patterns, this is the one, Firefly Garden, I already had that. Um, but they go really well together. So to me, that lanyard is interchangeable. I'm nearly getting snippets anyway. And since the colors match really perfectly, it doesn't matter which zip ID is on that lanyard. So just sort of thinned out the collection that way, save a few bucks anyway. Uh, we knew we need to save more, but anyway, so that's how I store them. I put the light colors together anyways. I just add an extra little um, carabiner clip. And sometimes there's like five zip IDs to one lanyard, whatever. Anyway, I, I have that. I do love that Moonlight Garden. I have almost everything in it now. All right, these two coin purses, they're the iconic current version. I've got Bramble, and look at that perfect placement. 
And then the other side has got a nice mix of the different flowers and colors, which is great. But I really, I mean, I love that the one side has a perfect flower right in the middle. Awesome. Um, then this other one is Butterfly Flutter. It's, it's one of those patterns on the small pieces. You can't even barely tell that it's butterflies. I got lucky. You can kind of tell, maybe. But I'm not worried about that. I just think it's nice splashes of color and it's a good size. It was a breast cancer pattern as well. And so supporting a good cause is all worth it. On the bigger pieces, I think this pattern works much better because you can actually see what it is. And Bramble works no matter. I think you can't get a bad placement with Bramble, in my opinion. All right. Next item is the iconic extra large campus backpack. I love the extra large backpacks. I like the campus ones too and the, the lighten up brands. And I like the journey ones. I really, I love backpacks, I don't care, I like them all. But I, this is probably my favorite of all of those uh, because it's the most versatile to me because I can load it up with a whole bunch of stuff and use it a lot of different ways. Couple things. One, this pattern is new. This is Holland Garden and it's a black background with like grays and whites and, and these beautiful hints of subtle color. It's actually quite vivid when you look at it up close. Um, but they're like pastel colors and it's just like edges and highlights. Uh, I really like it actually, it's kind of a different twist. I like it a lot. Um, I think this will also go very well with my blacks and whites, which I have a pretty extensive collection of, including things like Chandelier Noir, I think because it has the grays and blacks and whites. I think it will go really nicely. Um, this zipper though, Vera, no more of these awful metal zippers. I thought we were getting better and going away from them, but here it is again. I don't like it. So basically, I almost never use that pocket because that zipper sucks and I don't want to have to reach my hand down in there and scratch it. Scratch my watch, scratch my phone, scratch everything. But anyway, okay, enough about the zipper. First pocket, and this is a cute little interior. And it has two big slips, another slip, and then the zip ID, or not the zip ID, clear ID window, and then it has four pin pouches. This is a nice deep pocket and it, you could easily put a wristlet or big wallet, anything in there. Um, so there. Then there's another pocket here. It's, it's kind of a hidden pocket. So you zip this one up and then you have this straight across zipper, but it's recessed behind this thing. So nice big pocket. It goes all the way down to the bottom and the full width of the bag. So it's a great pocket, very versatile. First main pouch, it is a double zipper pouch. So both, both sides. It's got nothing, just a plain pouch, pretty interior. And then the second main pouch has a big slip in the cotton liner fabric and two elastic mesh slips. And that's your main pocket, the biggest pocket on of the whole thing here. When you look at the base of this thing when it's all expanded, it is a big backpack. It can hold a lot. Now, one thing I don't like, I'm not, you know, it's not a uh, deal breaker for me, but this, divider between the two main sections. I mean, it is like it, no other backpack except this style for Vera, but it's, it's literally just two layers of fabric. It's two thin cotton layers of fabric. There's no liner, no padding, no nothing. And if you hold it up to the light, because it's a light background, I hold it up just like this and I look at it, I can see the pattern on this side through this side, which I think they just need something in between there. I mean, because I mean, that's just, it's not even a divider, <laughs> you know, it's, I don't know. It works, I guess, but I like it in that it would give in both directions. So if you're going to load this, you know, stuff a bunch of stuff in there, that might work really well. But I think, I don't know, I wish it was quilted. Just make it a quilted layer at least so you have something to it and it wouldn't add a lot of weight. Anyway, I'll stop rambling about that. But that's what I think about that. It does have... The pockets here and it has the grommet on the top so you can use your phone charger you can put headphones whatever that's up to you i think those are great i like that they're there i like that they give the options to do things i personally haven't ever used that functionality but doesn't mean i wouldn't then of course it has that diagonal tech pouch padded on both sides which is really nice um, so you can put your laptop tablet whatever the straps themselves, very nice. They're padded, they're robust. They have this little cross strap across the chest. It's a tiny little strap though. It is adorable. I really don't know. I mean, it does, I guess, do its purpose, which is to keep the straps together and not like sliding off when it's heavy, but I don't know. It's just such a chintzy little thing. I don't know. I haven't had a problem with it either way. Um, 
And it does look like, oh, this is nifty. I didn't actually notice this before. If you unclip it, the back side of this strap, you can actually, it has a little pocket area that you can actually tuck that in. So it's not just hanging down when you're not using it. Huh. Voyage of discovery. Every day you learn something new. So, okay, there. Now it's tucked into this little pocket and then you want it back out. Ooh, there it is. Hey, cool. And both sides have that, so that's kind of cool. Anyway, it has the trolley sleeve. And it has pockets on both sides, very easily fits a water bottle or whatever. Yeah, so excellent backpack. Love backpacks, love the Extra Large Campus backpack. The only things I would change is get rid of the metal zipper, do something a little bit better with that middle divider, and then what's up with the chest strap? Like, that's, it's, I don't know, I guess it works. I haven't had, it's just so adorable. All right, last item. I got the cinch laundry sack. I have a bunch of these. These are great for like RV travel. I, I put them in, uh, I pack clothes in there to get them in and out of the RV. I use them as laundry bags on the trip. I put some extra supplies in them in the back of the truck, which is covered, but kids sometimes get a little bit moist back there. So it protects whatever's inside because they are waterproof since they're lighting up. And they are a robust lighten up. They're not like a chintzy lighten up, so. A lot of versatility and that's just one select group of things that I use it for. They're also great for storing, like you could store blankets in them and keep the dust off of them, stuff like that. Anyway, so this is the Firefly Garden. It's like a big ditty bag, kind of. I mean, it's just giant. Um, the bottom, for example, it is a uh, cylinder shape, so like a laundry thing, there you go. Very nice, and I do love this pattern. All right, so the cinch, you just pull the ropes, you got a little slide there, a locking slide that holds that in place, and then the cinch is just like the um, retail side ditty bags are the same. You know, the cinch is connected at the bottom, so there it is. You can use it as your shoulder strap, you can divide it and actually use it as backpack straps. But I will tell you from experience, if this bag is loaded down heavy and you put these ropes on your shoulders, they're going to cut in. So please don't think you can go for like a long hike with a heavy backpack. It is not meant for that. But functional anyways. All right. Other things about this. So there's your slide. You open it up. Notice the cinch line is like right here. So it cinches around that and it leaves this extra tuft at the top. I'm not, I'm not sure why that is. Um, it is though. I don't, I don't know what functionality you get, but you do have these two handles inside, so you can carry it like this or like lift it out of a place and hold it that way. So if you cinch it with those hanging out, you also have a handle on the top. Um, all right. The other thing is it has um, this lighten up tether that is you can unclip, but you have this little mesh bag. You can put your unmentionables in and use it as a laundry bag. It does have a nice zipper opening. So super useful. I use it um, when I'm going to do laundry. Uh, well, I have more than one, so I use one for unmentionables. But I, I use it just to carry, like I put my coin purse with my quarters for the laundry and my dryer sheets. And so I have everything right there. And it's in my laundry bag. Anyway, so this is the retail side, the way it's constructed. Let me just show you for comparison an older one that I already had. This one's in bandana swirl, it's a factory style, and it's, it's just a little bit different. And I like both versions, different reasons, but just to share. So the outlet version, the cinch is a double cinch, so you really just zoom and you get quick and easy. I like that a lot. I prefer that, because then you can tie it up, and if it's, you know, if it's really full and you can't cinch it all the way down, you can still tie it up and secure it. So I really like that. And this cinch is right at the top edge. Now, I don't know why you have that extra fabric there. I just think it's a waste. Maybe there's a purpose to it, I haven't figured it out, but the cinch right on the, on the top edge is fine. This one is um, basically the same material, heavy. It's the same cylindrical bottom. Um, but this version has a different thing. So the cinch is a cinch, the strap is the strap. It's not one in the same like on the other version. This one has actually a really nice nylon strap. It's adjustable, so you can use it like that, or you can put it all the way out. 
do it with a crossbody maybe if that's your preference. Um, depending on your style of body style, you may be able to use it as backpack straps. Um, I, I can, but it's kind of tight and awkward and if it's loaded, I can't get that on and off. I'm just a big girl. But I also don't have any intention of wearing it as a backpack. I sling it over my shoulder, go do my laundry, load up, whatever. It works. But this does not have that mesh bag inside. It does not have that lanyard tether inside. But it does have, instead, an, a pocket right here. So it goes right here, a zipper, and a pocket. So it's not huge, but you could fit easily. You could fit a coin purse in there. You could fit some little whatever in there. Um, I think it was a different size pocket or a different one I had, but so just slightly different two different versions That's why I end up buying more if you're wondering like why did I buy two more if I have three already? Well, because they're different and Sometimes you like one thing over the other or maybe I just want to broaden Because they don't last forever. So this is something I use a lot actually and because they're lighten up they're wipeable they're water resistant and They work great. So pretty durable as well. Haven't had any issues. So that's it for this one. More to come soon. Order's on the way. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.